today we're going to look at logical equivalence. Now two statements are logically equivalent if they end up with the same truth table. So if we look at these two statements, we've got not P and Q compared to not P or not Q. So to see if they're logically equivalent, we need to come up for a truth table for each of them. So if we start with our standard P and Q, they can be true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. These are all the possible combinations. Now, because this is P and Q, they have to both be true for this statement to be true. So they're both true there. But there's only one true there, therefore it's false. One true there, so it's false. And no true there, so it's false. And now the negation of that is just the opposite of this of the column we've just done. So if that's true, that means this is false. False goes to true, false goes to true, and false goes to true. So we've got the truth table for the first statement. Now we'll do it for the second, so again, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. So always look at negations first. So if P is true, not P is false in these two cases. And when P is false, not P is true. Now here Q is true, so not Q is false. Q is false, so it's true, false, false true. And finally we can look at this statement. So we're looking at the previous two columns and this is an or. So if one or the other or both is true, then this is true. So in the first row they're both false. So that no one's nothing's true, so that's false. We've got a true in this one because not Q is true. Here not P is true and here they're both true. Now, because both of these columns, just the end columns, the final statements, are the same, that means these statements are logically equivalent.